well, not even close for the return of CM Punk. Um, we'd mentioned um, that it was maybe two million, two point two million. Um, I remember when when CM Punk debuted in AEW, I was surprised that it didn't get more viewership, and I said, "Wow, CM Punk, I guess is only worth an extra hundred and fifty thousand people." I thought he would have been worth more than that. And uh, now in WWE, is worth an extra 300,000 people or so. So uh, we undershot as well. We thought when he went to AEW, it might have done like a 1.4 or 1.3 million, or I believe. I forget what the number is now. And he, and he did close like 1.1 1, 1 or 1.2 1, or something. I forget. But either way, um, yeah, so Raw does 1.8 million. Raw doesn't even hit 2 million. Um which is interesting. So it's about a hundred, it's about a hundred twenty thousand short of what I thought would happen. I thought hitting two million was reasonable and realistic, and they did not hit that. Um, but also, uh, it was not a very. I did not think Raw was really well done. Um, I think they put out a pretty like a, they put out like an okay show but they really should have put out a fabulous show. They should have put out just a show that really grabbed everybody. And I brought up what I thought those examples could be, but whatever, whatever, WWE is not going to listen to anything I have to say. Um, but who cares? Um, and, uh, yeah, so, you know, Kevin Patrick's a great commentator. Uh, Joe Cronin is a terrible one. Um, Monday Night Raw last night, up 29%. So that's awesome. So Raw was amazing. So amazing. Like, stunning and brave. Uh, Monday Night Raw last night. Just fabulous. Um, my God, it's going to change the landscape. Um, I know Triple H wasn't there, and Bruce Pritchard ran Raw, and because uh, Triple H couldn't be there. So... That's that was uh that's not a factor in it really to me. They they came up with the creative ideas and Bruce Pritchard went out and executed them. So that's all that that is. Um, Bruce Pritchard is just a veteran of executing, you know, wrestling programming, obviously. And um, yeah, so there you have it. Not the numbers, you know. I would have thought people would hope for better numbers, uh, but it was a very big success with social media numbers, buzz. And all of that, it, it hit records. They, they, um, so on the flip side of the ratings not being very good, um, well, no, I take that back. I mean, the ratings were good and they went up and they did the right thing. But I mean, I just think that it's still, it really shows you how down wrestling is right now. But on the flip side of the positive, I guess Triple H's tweet does it best. Most viewed Survivor Series of all time. I don't really know if I agree with that stat I don't understand that stat most viewed of all time I don't know what that means I guess because other Survivor Series were pay-per-views so at the most a million people might have watched Survivor Series on pay-per-view in which it wasn't a million it was like probably like 500,000 or 800,000 or something like that so maybe because over a million people watched it on Peacock or, or I guess that's what it, I mean, maybe that, and so that's, if that, I'm going to say, I'm assume that's true. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, largest gate in Survivor Series history. I mean, we have the biggest inflation numbers of all time, but yeah, it makes sense. Survivor Series merchandise sales record. I don't know if that means merch sold or the money they made off the merch, but either way, that's pretty big. CM Punk returned most social media moment in WWE history. Um, probably true. Yeah. It's pretty, it's got to be. Sponsorship revenue up 24%. I like how the sponsorship revenue made it on there. Um, amazing, man. What a time. So, uh, pretty amazing. War games, man. Kudos to WWE, bro. They're really, um, they're kicking ass uh, for, for what they're looking to accomplish here. So, it's really cool, man. I tell you, to, I tell you guys to like the video, but you won't. Um, keep watching my channel, maybe, for more videos of things. And, uh, yeah, so there you go, 1.8. And we, I predicted 2 million, and, uh, they didn't quite hit that. So, what are you going to do? What did you think? 